Hey, I wanted to pop in today on the day of the April 2024 full moon. I am being guided to talk a little bit about uh, the confusion of our identity since our soul is really activating now and we are being called to live as soul. Then our identity is shifting from ego, um, lower 3D ego, to heart and high heart identity. So heart being our personal, like connection to our personal soul matrix and the high heart, which would be more like connection to our higher self, our over soul self, self which is kind of more of a, of a galactic expression. So when things are changing like this and we feel like we're maybe losing our identity for um, moments and we're not, we're being called to live more by our soul and what our soul quote mission is here on, on the planet, then um, there are outer forces, let's say, those who have seem to have uh, the power and control, um, like in our governments and our systems that we depend on, there seems to be a narrative or an agenda. And, you know, I don't want to use the word conspiracy, because uh, that's been demonized, but there does seem to be an agenda, right? Uh, uh, a, a goal that these uh, patriarchal dominating forces on the planet um, want us to kind of believe and buy into. So there's um, many ways that people are being confused with who they are, labels, you know, our roles and identities. That's what we tend to that's what we have tended to identify as, you know, your name has a certain um, background history to it. And it's sort of defined who you are uh, up to this point. But now living as a soul requires that we shift our identity from that ego identity to uh, a soul identity. And there may be many people still who don't really know what soul is or what that means and don't know who to identify as um, when our identity is becoming more nebulous. So again, there are outside uh, forces um, who are trying to steer that in a direction so that we remain confused about who we are. And I would say, you know, even if regardless of whether you identify as a male or a female, um, really we're both and you could be expressing in like me, I'm expressing in a feminine body, but I have both qualities and there's something unique about being uh, a female um, as a God expression, let's say, and a man who is expressing as a man uh, and their God exp expression. But um, since we're born of the union of uh, a Holy Mother and Holy Father, let's say, then um, we are human in that sense for a very particular reason, I feel. And so when our identity is being um, shaken up, and I don't mean by other people outside, but within yourself, then, um, and you're not sure whether there is a God, what it means to be a soul, I would say, you know, consider identifying in your heart of, um, who you are, who, who are you in essence, really is what it comes down to. Um, I mean, many years ago, when I 
started really waking up and things, uh, my reality and uh, started getting shaken up. Uh, I had to kind of come to my own heart center and say, um, and, and, and believe in myself, you know, believe that at the core, I'm a good person. And in some ways that's enough. I think to begin with is I am a good person, regardless of what the narrative outside seems to be to tell you that if you don't believe this agenda, let's say, or this, um, belief that that is trying to be pushed on us then you're a bad person and you're demonized you're um called a, a racist of some sort or a sexist or you know whatever the derogatory term of the day is that's coming up but to believe in your own good nature because regardless of how things have been shaken up in particularly the last four years i i feel and believes that most people are good and they want to be kind, they want to be compassionate, you know? So um, believing in your own goodness, just believe in yourself. What you feel in your heart is a good place to start, I feel, regardless of whether you believe there's a God or you don't like that term, uh, God, because it has other um, maybe religious overtones to it, but believing in something in yourself, if you can find that kernel of love and compassion, because you can't have love and compassion for another being if you don't have that seed within yourself. So you know, believing that, yes, I am a compassionate person. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to be a doormat, right? Uh, for everybody to walk all over you. But, um, you know, if you believe in your own sacred goodness in your heart, I, I feel like that's a good place to start. So when you're feeling like, I don't know who I am anymore, and I don't know what to believe, I don't know what to think, um, then take a moment and see if you can believe in yourself, believe in your own heart, believe in your own sense of um, a light that is flickering in you because uh, whatever you want to call that flicker of light, you know, that brings you to life, there is something that brings you to life. That is the magic in you that brought this matter body, this being, you know, um, into a living form and whatever you want to call that uh, essence that this is the light and it doesn't go out until you drop the body and that life force, the spiritual essence leaves. So just a thought, um, uh, I'm going to activate a couple of symbols to help clear and help you um, hopefully maybe bring some coherence, meaning bringing the totality of who you are together and aligning it with this physical body. So if you don't want the, um, that symbol activation, and it's not Reiki, it's, uh, they're actually Pleiadian symbols that I was, uh, attuned to several years ago. Um, so anyway, uh, just take a moment if you want this, um, if you want to be here for that, then uh, just take a moment, take a deep breath and sit in stillness. Uh, so this symbol is the breath of ether.
Can you hear my son, Christopher, outside? Right, I'm uh, right at the patio doors where I can see him. That's the breath of ether. And this is um, the triple fire serpent. So different than the fire serpent from Reiki. And I'm going to do one more. This one's called Chawana. It means from the heavens it comes down to man. You just feel into that. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's unpredictable times, but um, we're all doing our best. And as each person picks up their own mantle uh, and do what you feel inspired to do from within, um, we are co we are co creating the new reality. We are uh, co creating new economies and new foundations. So I'm going to end with um, something that Sammy said yesterday. Um, What's happening now is beyond thought, beyond our imagination. We can't think our way through this and we can't tell you how exactly it's going to look because it's never been done before. So I know other people have said that a similar kind of thing, but just wanted to add that. Blessings to everyone. And peace be with you always and in all ways. Thanks for watching.